All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our artificial intelligence course and we're still doing our learning module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Now, I am switching things up a little bit because I couldn't let what happened last night stick to me because it was weighing on my mind. I went to bed late, got up around 5.30 to use the, well, for personal reasons, looked at the laptop and decided, you know what, I'm going to give it another shot. Failed again, went back to bed and uh, I got up again, finally for the day, got back on the laptop. Let's show you where we at today. Oh, let's show you where we at now. If you recall last night, I was trying to run a model that we created. or well, I copied from my instructor to see if I can actually uh, follow along with him a little more deeply in what was going on. And we kept getting this error here. The uh, cannot convert string to float continuous. So, of course, I went over to... Let me go over here. Sorry about that. Went over here, checked all the stack overflows typed it in a bunch of different ways to see if I can come up with any kind of solutions as to what was going on. As you can see, there's a main and one answers. Do this, do that. Hey, implement this code tool. Try row C dot strip. Some of everything. It had me all over the place. Implement new codes within the code that I already had going. It just had me all over the place. And like I said, it was weighing on my mind. I couldn't exactly figure out what was going on. I was not feeling discouraged, but I was feeling kind of like, you know, why would he put up an example that we can't follow along with, even if we have all of the tools? And then I checked to make sure, and he was using the same thing I was using. I just couldn't figure out why. So after all of the chat GPT, not the chat GPT, but after all of the stack overflowing and all of the silly stuff that was going on and all of the examples they told me to follow, I decided to come over here and see that this is continuous that they kept talking about. Could not convert this into a float. So I'm like, why do we have this in the first place? Let me try something here. Let's get rid of all of the gobbledygook. Use just our numbers. Save that. And what do you know? They don't call them the Python poppy for nothing. Yeah. So as you can see, our model correctly predicted 660 or well, 675 times. We got the right bill corrected. We got the correct bill predicted whether it was a counterfeit or was it authentic. And 10 times we got it incorrect. So we had an accuracy of 98.54% of predicting whether the bill was fake or counterfeit. You don't know how happy I am to see that or how happy I was to see that. I just spent the whole morning running it different ways. We can run it different ways also. I barely did. I did some coding. I did some note taking afterwards. But like I said, it was just, I don't know why. That wasn't even a solution. No one even mentioned to remove all of the nonsense that we didn't need from the CSV. Even he has it in his CSV still. He still has that information in his CSV and it ran perfectly fine for him. So I don't know what made me try that. But I just decided to remove everything that, was, that wasn't numerical. And lo and behold, our model is up and running perfectly. Sometimes it's not on you. Sometimes it's in you. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But yeah, moving forward now, I can finally confidently move forward and uh, continue what we were doing. And with that being said, this was the perception, the perception model, as you can see here. There are also other ways we can run this model. We can use the C or the SVC, which is the support vector classifier model. I'm going to show you that now. So if we just change this out here. SVC, save. And we're gonna run that model version. Let's see how well the SVC does on our model. If it comes back, you know, better or worse. As you can see, we have 677 correct with eight incorrect for 98.83% accuracy. And then there is one more, the uh, K neighbors classified model. We're gonna try that one now. The only difference with this one is it takes a parameter. You have to specify the end neighbors and how many neighbors you want to look at. Now, just for example purposes only, we're going to just use one right now. So we're going to look at one neighbor. So let's get and get that queued up. So we have the K. Now, here it is here. Let's add our parameter. We have N neighbors equals one. Let's save that. And let's run that.
Bam. Wow. So as you can see, this one corrected 685 and incorrect zero. So we have 100% accuracy with that K neighbors classifier. So out of the, all three models, that one performed the best. And we accurately predicted whether the bill was counterfeit or authentic 100% of the time, which is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Let's move down here now. So we could go ahead and run this. Now we can run these experiments multiple times because we are randomly reorganizing the data every time. We're technically training these on slightly different training sets. So we might want to run multiple examples to see how well they are actually going to perform. But in short, they are performing very well. While some of them perform slightly better than others, they might that might not always be the case for every data set. But we can begin the test now by putting together this machine learning models using, what is it, Sidekick? or scikit learn to be able to train some training set and then test on some testing set as well like i said it's, it's been a busy morning it's, it's been a triumphant morning i'm not gonna hold any punches i feel very triumphant right now like i said that was nowhere in the solutions that anyone mentioned to even try that i don't know it just something clicked in my head to just give it a try and see what would happen and here we are but of course we're going to keep moving forward and tonight we're going to pick up with the tensor flow since i spent the morning doing the uh, artificial intelligence course and I will keep you guys posted every step of the way. But for now, of course, you know, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.